On June 29th, AMD launched the Vega GPU. We wanted to know how well Vega works with a Hackintosh. Can Vega run without a helper card, without the iGPU, and without whatever green? Is the boot to black screen problem fixed with Vega? Is Vega fully functional out of the box? Does Vega sleep wake work? Is AirPlay supported? Does sound over HDMI and DisplayPort work? Do multiple monitors work? Let's take a look. To test Vega, we built a KB Lake Hackintosh. We're using a Gigabyte Z270X UD5 motherboard, an Intel i7-7700K CPU, a Noctua NHD15 heatsink, 32 gigabytes of DDR4-2400 memory from Crucial, a Samsung 960 EVO NVMe M.2 drive, a Corsair AX760 power supply, and a Fractal Design Define R5 case. For the GPU, we're using AMD's Vega Frontier Edition. For the operating system, we're using the macOS High Sierra Public Beta. To create a High Sierra USB installer, we followed instructions from Tony Mac x86 shown here. The instructions include config.plist. Inside the BIOS, we loaded optimized defaults, change storage boot option control to UEFI, disabled software guard extensions, disabled the serial ports, enabled XHCI handoff, disabled VTD, and disabled integrated peripherals. To boot the system, we used Clover version 4128. Fake SMC is the only kernel module we injected. For benchmarks, Geekbench 4 Compute for OpenCL returned an overall score of 172,191. The Luxmark version 3.1 Lux Ball benchmark returned a score of 20,190. In the Bruce 10 benchmark for Final Cut Pro 10, we averaged 12.47 seconds over three runs. For our NVMe SSD with Apple File System, Blackmagic returned a score of 1,560 megabytes per second for sequential writes and 2,726 megabytes per second for sequential reads. Vega is supported by High Sierra out of the box. This means no patching or module injection is required for video acceleration. Simply plug Vega into the slot and turn the computer on. The boot to black screen bug is also fixed with Vega in High Sierra. During booting, we were able to see the BIOS, we were able to see Clover, and we were able to see the macOS kernel. AirPlay to our Apple TV also works out of the box without any patches and without the iGPU enabled. We did have to reduce our screen resolution to 1080p HD before the Apple TV would display the stream. Sleepwake works flawlessly for Vega out of the box using the High Sierra Public Beta. After waking up, the Vega emits AMD's characteristic whoosh sound. For multiple monitors under High Sierra, Quad 4K works well with Vega using our LG monitors as shown here. Using our Dell monitors, Quad 4K does not work with Vega and High Sierra, though it does work under Windows. Also, for HDMI, the refresh rate is still limited to 30 Hz. Sound over HDMI and sound over DisplayPort both work. The AMD Vega is the GPU Hackintosh fans have been waiting for. The RX Vega is available now at lower price points. Our only hesitation is that macOS High Sierra is still in beta and could change before being released. The Vega delivers great performance and great native driver support to macOS. Combined with native NVMe, we're looking forward to High Sierra more than any OS X upgrade in recent memory. We'll reserve our final Vega judgment for the official release of macOS High Sierra and the official release of the iMac Pro.
but for right now, the RX Vega looks very promising. Stay tuned for more Geekster Owl videos coming soon, where we'll be reviewing the Nintendo Switch Mega Bundle, cheap portable Linux servers, the Eve light switch for Apple HomeKit, the Klipsch R20B soundbar, the Dell PowerEdge T30 Hackintosh, the 43-inch LG 43UD78B computer monitor, and the Apple external GPU enclosure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe and leave comments below. Also, consider getting subscribed to our new music channel, Geekster Robot. And so long, until next time.